In this video, we're going to look at uh, the interior angles again, like we did in the triangle, but this time we're going to look at polygons in general. So on the left-hand side, we have a polygon that has five sides, so it's called a pentagon. And on the right-hand side, we have one that has six gons, so it's six sides, so it's called a hexagon. And the question is, how many degrees are in all of the interior angles added together? Well, let's see what happens here. If we took this figure and we connected up some angles together, all the ones from E, we end up with one, two, three triangles. And how many degrees in all the angles in triangle one? 180. How about in triangle two? 180. Triangle three? 180. So how many degrees in all the angles of polygon A, B, C, D, E? It would be then three times 180, or 540 degrees. How about the hexagon? Well, let's connect again all the angles from A that are not adjacent. That's A to E, A to D, E to C. Not a very good line there. Let's do the again one. A to C. So there'd be one, two, three, four triangles made. So how many degrees in all the angles of this hexagon? It would be four times 180, or 720. There's actually a formula that says the number of sides minus two, because that tells you how many triangles you have formed, times 180. Why is it minus two? Because two of the vertices didn't get connected. A to E didn't, and A to B didn't, because they are adjacent sides. That's why the number minus two. So here's the question. I have a decagon, and that is 10 sides. How many degrees in all the interangles? Well, it would be 10 minus 2 times 180. That would be 8 times 180, and that's equal to 1,440 degrees. And now you know how to find the interangles of a polygon. Hope that helps you, and as always, have a very happy day.